I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a lacy basket stitch. I have a couple basket stitch, a basket weave stitch and another basket stitch here on my channel uh, which you can check out under the stitch tutorial playlist. So this week we're looking at a more lacy version of the basket stitch that you can see here. It's uh, quite fun, simple to work, it works up fairly quickly, and it's comprised of uh, single V-stitches and double V-stitches. So uh, today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and a little bit of this Cairn Times Pantone yarn. And uh, if you're new to my channel or haven't yet already, I invite you to subscribe. It is updated weekly. Our lacy basket stitch is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making our slip knot. And for this stitch, you're going to need a multiple of six stitches plus seven. So uh, today I'm going to start by uh, working a total of 25 stitches. Ten, twenty, and twenty five. So once you have a multiple of six stitches plus seven. You're going to start by working a V stitch. Now this stitch is made primarily of those uh, single double crochet V stitches and the double double crochet V stitches. So first we're going to work our first V stitch which is a double crochet, a chain one and a double crochet into the fifth chain from our hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five and we're going to work a double crochet chain one and double crochet into that fifth chain. We're then going to skip the next two chains, one, two, and work a an V stitch into the next chain. So double crochet, chain one and double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two chains and double crochet chain one and double crochet. Continue all the way across to your final two stitches and into the final stitch, you are, once you hit that final two you're going to skip one and then work a double crochet into that final stitch. I'm here at the end of my first row, I have two chains left. I'm going to skip the next chain and then double crochet into that final chain. And that brings me to the end of my row one. For row two, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. We're now going to work some of those double V stitches, and they're always going to be worked into the centers of the V stitches down below. So skipping that first stitch that our chain three comes out of, skip the next stitch into the chain one space. We're going to work two double crochets, chain one, and two more double crochets. So one double crochet, two double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochets, all into that same space. Next, you're going to chain one, skip the next V stitch. So skip two double crochets, a chain one, and two more double crochets. Into the next V stitch, you're going to work your double, double crochet V stitch. So two double crochets, chain, chain one, and two more double crochets 
and you're going to repeat that all the way across. We're going to chain one, skip the next V-stitch, and then into the next one, into the center space, work your double V-stitch. Two double crochets, chain one, and two more double crochets. Chain one, skip the next V-stitch, and then into the next one, a double V-stitch. When you come to the end, you will have your double crochet and then your starting chain three there. You're going to skip that next double crochet and then work a double crochet into the top of your starting chain three. And that brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn our work. We're now going to work a V-stitch into each chain space all the way across. So our first one is going to be worked into the center of this V-stitch right here. So just work a single double crochet V-stitch there. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, Find your next chain one space, which is in between your V-stitches up top, and work a V-stitch in there, chain one, or double crochet, chain one, double crochet, into the next chain one space, V-stitch, and so forth. You're going to do that all the way across until you come to that starting chain three again, and you'll work your final double crochet stitch into the top of that chain three. I'm just going to keep working across here for you. V-stitch in each chain one space across. your end, you have those three double crochets and your chain three double crochet into the top of your chain three. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, we're going to work some more of these double V stitches, but we want to stagger them a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, turn our work, and then we're going to double crochet into that same stitch. So just into the top of your double crochet there, work one more double crochet stitch, chain one, skip that first V stitch, and then into the next one, work your double V-stitch. So dub, two double crochets, chain one, uh, chain one, and then two more double crochet stitches. This is going to stagger them when you look at them compared to the ones down below. Then chain one, skip the next V-stitch, and work a double V-stitch into the next one two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Chain one, skip the next V-stitch, and double V into the next. Continue that all the way across. And when you come to your final V-stitch and that double crochet there, you're going to chain one, skip the V-stitch, and then into the top of your chain three, work two double crochet stitches. So one, 
and two. And that brings you to the end of your row four. For row five, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Now this row is going to be exactly like your row three down here. So it's just a straight row of V stitches into your chain one spaces. So find that first chain one, you're going to skip the first two double crochets into that chain one space, work a single V stitch. There's no chain ones in between these ones, you're simply skipping to the next chain one space and work another V stitch. And you're going to do that all the way across. Just have a few more to go here. V stitches in every chain one space. When you come to your final two stitches there, you're going to skip that first double crochet and then work your final double crochet into the top of your chain three at the end of that row. And that brings you to the end of your row five. So from here on in, you're simply going to, for the rest of the pattern, repeat your rows two through to five, the row that we just did. You're going to repeat that for as long as you would like. And that's all there is to this lacy design. So thank you so much for joining me for the stitch tutorial on this lazy basket stitch and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.